Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about my idea for storing your helmet on your scooter when you're away. Rather than carrying it around. Um, I've done it on a previous scooter, I'm going to do it on this one. If I can, so let's have a look and see what the options are. Right, this will only work on certain helmets, and that depends what type of chin strap connection they have. Because what I've done is I've bought some spare um, buckles for me a bit, um, and the idea is that we could fix either that or that to under the seat, and then attach the chin strap to the fixed fit. But only certain helmets have the right fitting. So these are the fittings I've bought for you a bit. They're a common buckle type of chin strap fitting. But you have to make sure your helmet has got this type of fitting. Now this helmet, unfortunately, um, it doesn't. So this helmet's no good. However, this helmet does have the right fittings. So, this is the helmet I'll be using and securing to the bike. I'll just show you. I'll do that way. one option and we'll fix that. Or I can fix this and then put that buckle in. Nice and secure it. That'll be secure it. And just release it. So if you've got this type of buckle, you're laughing. If you've got the other style of buckle, it's like the old style, which is the thinner style. Um, not so good, unless you get the correct spare buckles. So under the seat, we've got a bracket here. We've also got some brackets here with the screws on already. So they could just screw on there. I think that would get in the way of closing the seat. Now this bracket here, where the petrol cap goes so we might be able to do something with we're putting one of, we're putting those on and um, seeing if that petrol cap will still close so it's going to be about there somewhere that's okay so I think we're okay by a little hole through there. You could even tie up it if you don't want to drill any holes. Put a little ball through there, and then we should be able to fix the helmet um, through there. Okay, we'll drill a little pile of holes first. Pull that pilot hole up with a 6mm because that's what the bolt I've got is. Right, look behind. It's quite tight fit actually. I'll advise just drilling slightly at an angle. Looks like it's got it. Yep. The three hands really. Look out the way. Right. So we've attached the bracket. <coughs> we just slide the chin strap in. It's solid, I can go in anywhere. And we just close this in. 
and that it doesn't go in anywhere. I will of course have the helmet in my helmet bag to protect it. And protect the screw the side panel. Yeah, but that's it. Nice and secure. One floor in the plan. You just don't need a key to open up the seat. So anyone can lift this <laughs> and face it. So that, that's the next plan. Well, you might have to do something to get that a bit more secure. Well, thanks for watching that quick little video on how one way to keep your helmet safe while you go walking around works on this type of chin strap, not everyone. Um, obviously, you just put a, a lock and a chain mount somewhere to keep your helmet in place if you have a full face one. If you have an open face helmet, you can't really do that, so this is a, a good option. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Please give me a like and a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe to the channel, it helps me a great deal, and you can find out when the next video is uploaded. Until next time, stay scuba and keep the faith.